Hi, in this video we will explain the vector cross product. The cross product of two vectors, vector 1 and vector 2, produce a third vector that is orthogonal to both vectors. Vector 1 cross vector 2. And this is the main use case for cross product of two vectors is to find that vector that is orthogonal to both vectors. Something to keep in mind about vector cross product is that v1 cross v2 is not equal to v2 cross v1. Although in both cases you create a vector that is orthogonal to both vectors, it actually goes in the opposite direction. So for any two vectors that are not going into the same direction or the exact opposite direction, you can create a third vector that is orthogonal to both of them by using the cross product. So to recap, the cross product of two vectors, v1 cross v2, creates a third vector that is orthogonal or normal to both input vectors. But what if the two input vectors go into the same direction? That means there is an infinite possibility of vectors that are orthogonal to them, which will lie within the normal plane to those vectors. The result of the cross product in this case is basically a zero vector, and you can test it by checking the length of the resulting vector, and it will be zero. So cross product is actually used to check if two vectors are parallel. The cross product of two parallel vectors is a zero vector. There is also actually a relationship between the angle of two vectors and the length of the cross product. So if you cross product two unit vectors, the length of the resulting vector will be equal to the sine of the angle between them. This is not really commonly used, but it's worth noting the relationship between cross product and the angle between two vectors. Let's see how we can create cross product vector in Grasshopper. Given two input vectors, vector 1 and vector 2, and in this case I anchor to the origin, you can perform the cross product operation using the cross product component under vectors tab. Notice that the U input of the cross product would unitize the output vector from the cross product. So now let's try to input the two vectors to the cross product operation. And the output is a vector v with length equal 6. Let's feed it to the display. You can see that vector, which is orthogonal to both input vectors. Now, if I change the order of operation, that is input vector 1 to b and vector 2 to a, the resulting vector is actually the same length, which is 6, but it actually goes to the opposite direction. Because for two non-parallel vectors, there are two possible orthogonal vectors, and the cross product give you both those vectors. Now what happens if the two input vectors are parallel? Let me set up two vectors that go to the same direction. So vector 1 and vector 2 now go into the same direction, which is along the x-axis. Now the resulting vector, let's try to capture the result, is a zero vector, 0, 0, 0. And the length of it should also be 0. And this is how you know that two vectors are parallel 